Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish News Bulletin on Tuesday. Scotland's great past a third string Czech Republic 2 1 in Olomouc last night to top their nation's league group, and it was far from a vintage performance. Goals from Lyndon Dykes and Ryan Christie earned a victory after going behind, but the 5 2 3 formation struggled to impress again, and manager Steve Clark said he expects criticism for the display. However, Clark does insist that the result was the most important thing. When everybody puts you under so much pressure to get the win, then that's what you have to do. So we knew coming here it would be difficult. I said that before the game, uh, and that, that's the way it turned out. We obviously made it more difficult for ourselves by conceding the first goal, but then showed good character to get back in front. Aberdeen expect to confirm today that they will have approval for 300 fans to attend Saturday's match with Kilmarnock as a test event. Following yesterday's meeting with government officials, both the Dons and Ross County, who are hosting Celtic, are waiting for the green light. Now, St Mirren and Rangers are both unlikely to be permitted to have any fans at all due to the return of restrictions in their areas. Staying with the Dons, midfielder Craig Bryson is set to terminate his deal with the club after an unsuccessful and injury-laden spell. The 33-year-old has seen his playing time limited and wants to return closer to his family in Ayrshire before his contract runs out in the summer. And Scotland winger Ryan Fraser has finally completed his move from Bournemouth to Newcastle, signing a five-year contract after leaving the Cherries at the end of June as a free agent. The 26-year-old will now look to get back to full fitness with the return of the Premier League this weekend and is aiming for Steve Clark's Euro 2020 playoff semi-final squad in October. Thank you for watching and don't forget you can like, share and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter channels, which is where you'll also find the football show with Peter and Ruffy. It's on every night at four. They discuss all today's stories with the panel and exclusive guests.